Live here. Uh, hello and welcome back. Uh, we are going. We are going to have two flare today. Okay, I'm gonna big shout out to my buddy Dylan from Dylan's Espresso Bar. Uh, Dylan, I want to show your face. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have Dylan over there. Dylan's Espresso Bar. So Dylan's going to. Uh, Dylan, tell me about your machine. Okay, I'm gonna so, set mine up here. This is the Flare Pro Two. Yep. I am using the Stag kettle. Uh, I'm going to be using the Easy Presso with 17 grams inside of it. Okay. I already have the chamber preheated here with the water. And then I'm going to try to pull a one to two. I'm not going to time it just because it's kind of hard to fit the scale in there. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll see what we get. Okay. So, so Dylan is using the Flare Pro 2. I am using Flare, the Neo, actually Neo, but it's not a, not quite Neo. I upgrade to Classic, okay? So the Classic means you can actually, you can purchase, uh, it's called bottomless pore filter because if uh, Flare, Neo, uh, Flare Neo comes with, it's called flow control, okay? The flow control that you don't have to worry about grind size much more like very similar to pressurized baskets so this one is like non-pressurized basket there so so this the non-pressurized baskets uh, you can upgrade it so this is actually this is like 39 millimeter okay the smaller so i'm gonna do about 14 gram on those uh, dylan again how many grams are you using uh i'm gonna try 17 but i'm also on grind setting like three and a half on okay. the easy presso so I may be way too fine. Okay, so so Dylan's using 17 gram. I'm using 14 gram. Uh, Flare Pro 2 has a bigger basket. Okay, Flare Pro 2 has a bigger basket than mine, and mine is smaller. So so that's the kind of like difference between Flare Pro 2 versus the Neo and Classic. They're smaller size baskets. All right. Uh, if you are brand new to the, the manual espresso machine. So, I mean, if you are looking for entry-level espresso maker, the flare is top of my list. Okay, they are top of my list there. So, so I'm using this Mocha Java decaf from Good so Brothers. So, Dylan is using the Mocha Java from uh, friends at Good Brothers. <clears throat> Actually, I'm using uh, Mexican Chiapas as well, okay? I'm, uh, I'm using Mexican Chiapas from the Brent. And I'm going to put the, I have a Brent's coupon code, so I'm going to put the link down below. I got 25% off. And that's pretty good. Deal. And then I'm using the same grinder as the Dylan. This is the K. Plus. And so I think I'm, I think I'm going to set a grind size number, yeah, three and a half, just like you do. Okay. Just to give you an idea, this is 17 grams in the Flare Pro 2, yep. depending on the coffee. Okay. So I'm gonna do 14 gram, put it in here. I'm using the K plus right now. So we are doing the Simo cast with Dylan, okay? So he's using the Flare Pro 2, I'm using the, uh, kind of like the Neo, but upgrade the classic. Let's find out how long it's gonna take to grind 14 gram uh, classic here uh, from K plus. 14 gram. Let's uh, start timer here. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna shout out to friends that live chat going on. Make sure to join the live chat. Okay. Do you do this sure side up out. or this side up? I would think uh, this side up. I don't up. know about that one. Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah, I think yeah, that one on the top. That's what I always do, but I don't know if yeah. I was doing it wrong. Yeah. So I'm, I'm using K plus. Goodness. I'm at 40 seconds right now. Okay, 45 seconds to go on 14 grand using K plus. That's a long time. I don't know about you guys, but how long does it take, Dylan, for your grind 17 grand? Um, about a minute. Minute, yeah. <clears throat> Can you see okay. the shot right there? 
Yeah, you should be able to. Yep. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So I'm going to have a Dylan Prudo shot first, and then I'm going to go after. Okay. So let's uh, let's check out the Dylan's uh, video there right now. So I do it a little differently. Okay. I pour really slow. Okay. So that way I don't really mess with the puck and the puck's integrity. Uh huh. And then I like to wait all this time for pre infusion. Okay. So, I mean, I'm yeah. also going kind of slow because I know I probably went way too fine. So hopefully I can get it to where it's dampening it a little bit. All right. Okay. Put the pressure gauge on the top. Try to zoom in here so you can see both angles. Mm -hmm. If I can get this down. Here we go. No, that looks good there, Dylan. How's the shot? Is that fast? That looks pretty good. Uh, definitely a little squeezing, uh, squeezing into the, the espresso zone there. There we go. Yeah, right in <clears throat> right in the middle. Yeah, that is nice looking shot, buddy. <clears throat> definitely uh yeah. over extracted and some uh channeling. Yeah. But that's yeah. okay. Yeah, the taper out. There we go. And then I'm going to stop at about here. Good. Very good. So I'll okay, just show so, you the shot here. Yeah. Very nice. Hold on. Decent looking shot. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, lots of crema. Yeah, that's fantastic. Good. Okay, comes to flare, I have to say. Uh, it's all about the, the managing the heat, the thermo. So, I mean, if you are really into lighter roast, really, really light roast, you uh, you definitely want to heat up uh, the uh, water chamber, okay? Heat it up, all right? You got to do definitely do the heat it up. But if you are planning on doing like darker, medium to dark, <clears throat> you know, you don't have to worry about much, as much. Okay, let's put it that way. So, uh, so now we finished with the Dylan shot. Uh, let me show you my uh, player. Pretty much classic. Okay, let's put that. So this is like classic. So Flare has a couple of different models. So we got the Flare Neo. We have Classic and Pro 2 and the Flare 50A. So four different models there. So, so this is the uh, the Flare Neo upgrade to Classic. All right, so let me show you my end. <clears throat> Cheers. All right, buddy. So let me show you. Okay. Again, uh, as you can see from the Dylan's, uh, uh, Dylan, why don't you show us your Flare 58? No, I'm sorry, not the 58, but your Pro 2. We're going to do side right. by side here. Yep. Because we're going to do side by side from Flare. There we go. <clears throat> I mean, as you can see, it's completely different, the machine. <clears throat> the Flare Pro is a lot more, uh, well, I say shinier. It looks a lot prettier, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it's built a little better, but I, you're still going to get end cup pretty decent. Yeah, but, I mean, yours is really looks really nice. Let's put it that way. I'll get a close-up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah, there we go. So, again, uh, Flare comes with a dosing funnel. So this is a 14 gram, which just I just grind. Uh, you do WDT on this, Dylan? Personally, I did. Yeah. yeah. The reason why I like, even though I don't need to do it, but I, I just like to do it, you know, just for fun. Okay. It's kind of like like super soothing. Yeah. I mean, I like now, to do it just for fun there. <clears throat> So let me ask you this, Hoon. After you pull your shot on your flare, yep. have you ever, once you got done pulling your shot, 
and then you lifted up the lever. Have you ever purged out the rest of the water and tried to drink that? No. Try that. No, yeah. I bet you it's not that bad, I bet. It's, it's more like it's Americano. Not. Yeah. It's it's not bad at all. Okay. It's like so, an Americano almost, yeah. So I'm I'm using the this tool from Crema actually. Okay. One side is a distribution tool, other side is the temper. Okay, so I mean this looks pretty good so far. <clears throat> and then so with the Flare Pro, the squinting is go all the way down, okay? But with the Neo, just go on the top there. So that's definitely oh. different, okay? Definitely so it's like different. a cap. Exactly, just a cap. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna put on the top like so. Here's my pressure gauge. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna add some <clears throat> water there. Uh, comes the scale, that's optional. And I like to put scale on it. I like to do like one to two ratio, one to 2.5. <clears throat> All right, at this point, I'm gonna add the water on the top. Just simply again come I uh, really like different workflow than the Dylan's for sure. Okay. Just like so. And then it drops out pretty easy. Okay, hopefully you guys can see pressure gauge there as well. That's upside down though. It's all right. I'm just going to give you a little pre-infusion. You see the uh, drips there? I'm just going to give you a... I'm, I'm in the zone right now, espresso zone. I'm going to shift for around 30 gram. Once I see like 20, 25 grams, I'm just gonna go easy into it. Easy into it. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna stop right there. About about 31 seconds. Actually, that was a really nice shot. Okay, I'm just gonna just perch the rest of the water. My drink was a little bit sharp. A little acidic on the acidic end, so yeah. I add a little bit of water to it. Okay, as you can see, look at that. This beautiful espresso, guys. It's all crema. Goodness, this is good. right, very, very nice. Okay, let's give it a try. Here we go. <clears throat> let's give it a try there. Uh, if you are just joining us right now, we are doing the live demo. Uh, the Flare, pretty much Flare Classic. Let's put it that way. It's a classic uh, versus the Pro 2. Okay, Flare Pro 2. So Dylan is using the Flare Pro 2. I'm using the uh, Classic uh, from Flare. So today is a Lever Espresso Tuesday. Cheers. So I'm using the Cheers. coffee from the Good Brothers Coffee. This is a Mexican uh, Chiapas. And uh, uh, which coffee are you using, Dylan? Uh, this is the Mocha Java Decaf from Good Mocha Brothers. Mocha Java Decaf. Decaf. Here we go, Dylan. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Man. So it's about 30 gram. So here's the thing about the using Flare. I mean, you're going to get a great quality espresso. It's only 30 gram. Okay, so if you like if you like if you like to consume a lot of espresso, I mean Flare Pro 2, goodness, or 58. But if you are just getting into espresso right now, if you don't want to spend too much money, 
I think the Neo or a uh, Classic would be the really good option to start start going into. Okay. And uh, if you I also it, noticed that. Go ahead. If you don't if you don't preheat your flare enough, like the cylinder and stuff, with all your coffee grounds, the first shot's always going to be a little bit sour, but the second shot's always going to be better just right. because it's well preheated. Okay. Have you cleaned your uh, basket yet? Uh, no. Why don't you show us your cleanup? Okay. I bet you paper wants to see it. Well, I just, all I did was I took it out, knocked yep. it out, and that's okay. what pretty much happens. Okay. And do you have any problem with knocking it out? No. I mean, I can show you the puck inside of here. Yep. Show us. <clears throat> yeah, that's, I mean, that's perfect. So that's the great thing about uh, your puck screen design. Okay. I'm going to show you mine, okay? I'm going to show you the, the cleanup for flare. Uh, yeah, flare. All right, here we go. So this is the, the Neo. This is the one downside of Neo, if, if I'm gonna nitpick uh, the cleanup, okay. Make sure remove the top here. Uh, they are extremely hot, okay? So make sure, be careful. Okay, so this is hot. So this is what I'm talking about right here. With uh, Dylan's uh, Flare Pro Tube, the screen is inside, okay, inside. But with a Neo or Classic, that's outside. So it uh, looks something like this. Okay. If I'm trying to knock it, there we go. So it's not bad, but sometimes it gets stuck. You have to scoop it out, but most times, so that's the one complaint I have, okay? It's a little messy. But other than that, I mean, for the price, I uh, can beat it. For espresso on the on a budget, it's pretty good. Exactly. We are talking about the budget machine. Okay, we are talking about the budget there, budget machine. Absolutely. And that, uh, again, so this is like good way to start your espresso. Uh, become a hobby. So how long have you been using it, Dylan? Uh, I've had it for about probably two years. Okay. Maybe a year and a half. So and I like it a lot. I like I like the Flare 58 a little bit better. Yeah. But again, so I mean, <clears throat> if you if you have a Flare, a classic or Neo, uh, upgrade to Pro 2. Thinking about it, if I were you, I'm gonna skip it. Go to the 58. Okay, make sure you go to 58 and they get, uh, get the, the electric version of it. Comes with the heating element. That's what you want, okay? So you don't have to mess with warm up your uh, uh, filter basket. <clears throat> exactly. So, so what's new on your channel, Dylan? Uh, not much. I've been trying to finish everything for Brewhead okay. Espresso. So. Uh, is there any, any unboxing video coming up? Uh, I did an unboxing today for April okay. Coffee Roasters. Uh, if, you haven't but seen, uh, that, if you haven't seen the Dylan's uh, unboxing video on uh, April Drip, make sure to check out. What is your channel name? Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. Dylan's Home uh, Espresso Bar. Okay. Anyway, thank you for joining us, Dylan. See you guys. Have a good I'm one. See you next time. Okay. So that's the Dylan from. Uh, make sure to check out the Dylan's channel. Okay. Uh, Dylan has a really fun channel as well. Make sure to check it out. And again, um, if you are thinking about uh, toss between Pro or like Neo or Classic, if you don't want to spend too much money right now, okay, I think I'm going to start with maybe Classic. Learn how to use the machine first. And if you love it, okay, if you love it, go to the Flare 58, all right? Flare 58 with, uh, with the heating elements. And then uh, if you don't love it, it's not as bad. You know, it's not as bad because a flare cost you. Hold on, let's check out uh, Amazon right now. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Amazon. The flare. Espresso. 
125 for the Neo. Okay. So, I mean, 125. I mean, you're going to make, you know, a decent coffee out of it. So, I mean, you know, they're, I mean, they're pretty good. Okay. Really good for the entry level. So, make sure to check it out as well. And let's see, I'm going to big shout out to my friends at the live chat this morning. <clears throat> we got the Jesse's on, we got Murphy. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Rainbow. We got a shout out to Joe. Let's see here. We have Rain is on as well. I'm Matt. Michael, I think I got everybody. All right, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh, James just walked in. All right, see you guys.